Hi, this is your Jobo speaking. Since this is our first time meeting here, nice to meet you. Hope you enjoy your stay. I came across this newly made channel called Reefishy. It's really good, you should check it out. And I thought, hey, maybe I can make something myself and post it online. So if you're seeing this, by some miracle, I pulled through to finish a video and posted it onto YouTube. It's the small victories, everyone. All right, two main things you need to remember about me. I love drawing and I love to play games. A lot of games, like a bit too much in fact. I have that horrible habit of buying games before I even finish the one I'm currently playing. Like for example, I was playing Xenoblade 2 and then Tears of the Kingdom released, so I bought that. But then I figured I had to replay Breath of the Wild to refresh myself, and after I was done with that, I saw Xenoblade 3 was on sale, and it becomes this never-ending cycle of trying to finish my ever-expanding backlog, oh my god! That's why I made a personal challenge to myself this year. I'm not gonna buy a single new game until I finish what's on my Nintendo Switch. And also my PS3, but mainly the Switch for now. And to extra motivate myself because I love to gamify everything, I'm gonna make a tier list. So let's start things off with the granddaddy of them all, Mario. Why Mario? Well, this wasn't actually my first attempt at posting a video on this channel. I actually recorded myself playing through the whole game last year. I was testing out my capture card and OBS settings, and Mario was the perfect game to test with. I know it's not a fresh experience and I'm mainly just jogging my memory, but I figured this would also be a good chance to put my storytelling skills to the test. If I can't make Mario interesting, then I am in deep sh**. So sit back, relax, and let me tell you how. I spent 50 minutes beating Super Mario Brothers. He said the title of the video. Right off the bat, I need to address that I'm playing the All-Stars version. I grew up with the OG on the NES, so I figured this would be a fresh experience for me, at least visually. As far as I know, it's pretty much the original game, but with updated graphics and the ability to save at any time. So I don't need to point out the obvious, but you're in the presence of a Mario master here. World 1 was pretty much standard. I got the 1, 2, 1 up, got all the coins in 1-3, and I was in 1-4 in no time. World 2. Not much to say about this one. I went through every level without any difficulty. Fun fact, if you get all the coins in the third level of every world, you can actually get a secret one up in the first level of the next world, which I didn't get. So it wasn't a fun fact for me at all. The standout is 2-3, or what I call the can't stop, won't stop level. It's a really short but fun level, it can definitely pose a challenge if you're trying to get all the coins, which I did after pelting Bowser with fireballs around world 3. This time I did get the secret 1-up for 3-1. I tried doing the infinite 1-up glitch but failed immediately. I tried to get this mushroom 3-3 and lost that immediately and then died on the world 4, the Lactu level, where Lactu shows up and drops spiny shells on you the entire time. 4-2 has the infamous World 8 Warp Zone, but I'm not doing that because I want to see every level. In 4-3, I couldn't get every coin because I accidentally moved the screen too much. I always found that weird, like, what's stopping Mario from his POV? The screen? Anyway, I fell off the ledge and died. Maybe two, three, okay, four times. 4-4 four, four is the first puzzle level, where you have to guess the correct path or you keep going through the same level all over again. So without any googling at all, I managed to get through. We gotta speed this up. World 5. F this hammer bro in 5 2. F this platforming in 5 3. Killed Bowser. World 6. Second Lakitu level. 6 2. This bullshit. 6 3. I missed the first floating platform. Twice. 6 4. Easy. World 7. 7-1, seven, for some reason I wanted to make things harder on myself. 7-2. I made all these bloopers, especially these two at the end, my bitches. 7-3 is the second can't stop won't stop level. I like it. Except for this 7-4 is the second puzzle level, and I did not like this one. I really thought I could solve it on my own, but I had to admit defeat and google it again. I mean, google it the first time. World 8. This is it, the final world. Immediately, I felt the level designers really wanted you to die, even for the smallest mistake possible. 8-1 was pretty standard, no gimmicks just yet. 8-2 was the final Lakitu level. 
I really wanted to jump and kill this f***er with that jump. But he gets away this time. Then I came to this dreaded section. If you didn't commit to this full on, you're not making it. But other than that, no problems. Now we come to what I think is the hardest level in the game. 8-3. This one was just relentless. With bullet bills, hammer brothers, and carefully placed gaps, there's little room for error. And now we come to the final level. 8-4. This one is just a more elaborate puzzle level, since it consists of multiple rooms. You need to pick the right warp pipe and continue from there. If you go too far or pick the wrong one, you go back to the start. This is it, the final battle. Mario vs King Koopa. This is going to be so epic. All done. Oh, and they even gave me a penny mushroom. Fantastic. And that has been Super Mario Bros. So what do I think of the game? I liked it. I mean, it's basically the OG NES game with better graphics, so there's not much to hate about it, except for one unfortunate change. The physics. When you hit a block as Big Mario in the original, you get pushed down. But here, it seems that you perplexingly get pushed up. It just throws your momentum way off, and if you time it wrong, it could lead you in trouble. But I like that they gave us more varied backgrounds. We have a desert level, a snow level, and even an updated night level with twinkling stars. Definitely better compared to the black screen in the NES version. I get that the original has a special place in older gamers' hearts, and this is the de facto way to speedrun Super Mario Bros. But we live in a world where people demand constant visual stimuli. So the varied backgrounds and the ability to save at any time more than makes up for the wonky physics. And it's a great entry point to introduce younger folks who are new to the series. Super Mario Bros. The All-Stars version gets a B from me. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my playthrough of Super Mario Bros. And if you did, consider dropping a comment and subscribing to follow my journey as I go through the rest of my backlog. This has been your Gerbil speaking. Thanks for watching.